Most of the early studies of voucher programs use randomized experimental designs to assess the effects of relatively small, privately funded vouchers in New York City, Washington, D.C., Dayton, and Charlotte. And most of these, including our own study uh, in New York City, found some indication of positive impacts, at least for African-American students. Longer-term studies of the privately funded voucher program in New York City and the federally funded voucher program in Washington, D.C. found substantial positive impacts on uh, student attainment. In New York, again, this was limited to African-American students. Recently, however, state-sponsored voucher programs in Louisiana, Ohio, and Indiana have found negative impacts on the test scores of participating students. These varied results suggest that the local context, the quality of the participating private schools, the size of the voucher, and other elements of the design of the voucher programs can really affect program impacts. If federal policy ends up supporting a variety of flavors of voucher programs in different states, it's going to be really important to make sure that we study those programs comprehensively so we can understand what's working and what isn't. No one, as far as we know, has attempted to study the effects of those programs on participating students. This may be partly because some of the programs are quite new, but it may also be related to the fact that they don't require student outcome data to be collected. In principle, the funding mechanism for private school choice programs might not matter. In practice, however, it appears that policymakers are less likely to impose regulations on programs that are funded by tax credits or education savings accounts relative to those in which the states directly dispense funds to the private schools. Information on the effectiveness of tax credit scholarships and education savings accounts is likely to remain minimal, unless any federal initiative supporting them includes provisions to collect data on the students who are participating. In particular, student test scores that would allow outcomes to be compared to those of similar public school students. <laughs>